When seen from the ground, holiday lights give us cheer and help us celebrate a season. But from space, over time, they can tell us something about both culture and energy usage. Three years ago, a new satellite called Suomi NPP began to give us brilliant new views of the Earth, by day and by night. But as stunning as it is to see Earth all aglow, this is still just one composite image, averaging observations over a period of months. Getting the big picture from space is always helpful, but we can learn even more seeing that picture change over time. A NASA-led team of researchers has been poring over the data from Suomi NPP and compensating for factors like the reflection of the moon and the effect of terrain, clouds, and aerosols to produce a scientifically valuable product measuring Earth's lights on a daily basis. The first thing they noticed in the data was the effect of holidays. When we started looking at the data at night over the United States, we, we were expecting to see a lot of stability in the nighttime nights. And we were really surprised to see this vibrant um, increase in activity uh, during the holidays, and particularly around areas in, in, in the suburbs. You have a lot of single family homes with a lot of yard space to put in lights. Comparing the six weeks between Thanksgiving and New Year's to the rest of the year, the team noticed large areas where night lights were 20, 30, even 50% brighter over the holidays, as shown here in shades of green. And so what we're seeing is this shift in location and in activity, uh, where people are staying in their homes and they're celebrating, or they're traveling to um, uh, the rural areas and they're celebrating, and they're turning on the lights. And whereas in the urban centers, people are turning off the lights because they're going off for the holidays. Researchers actually first saw changes in holiday lighting patterns during Ramadan in the Middle East. Well, in contrast to the Western holidays of Christmas and New Year's, during Ramadan, you don't see a shift in activity in location. What you're seeing is the communities are staying where they are, and they're shifting uh, their activities to, to the night. So another thing that uh, the measurements are telling us is that it's capturing cultural differences even within a single uh, community like like our uh, the Muslim community during the month of Ramadan, uh, we're seeing patterns in behavior that uh, vary significantly from country to country. Uh, smaller increase in nighttime lights in Turkey, large increase in nighttime lights in Saudi Arabia, um, no increase in nighttime lights in Israel uh, because it's not a predominantly Muslim country. So it's a lot of diversity seen within the data. Because the night light data has such good resolution, researchers from Yale University have even been looking at neighborhoods within cities and correlating that data with known political and socioeconomic factors. But from a NASA perspective, why is it important to concentrate on Earth's lights from space? A lot of our capability focuses on using satellites to get a global picture of where we are with respect to the environment and with respect to the day-to-day -day processes that drive the Earth system. A big component of that is human activity and it's how they are driving the different processes um, that impact the earth, like carbon emissions and um, like uh, the heating patterns across cities. Um, and so by looking at the lights, uh, we can see changes in human behavior throughout the seasons, throughout the days, and we can use that information to then understand uh, what are the norms uh, that are driving uh, the decisions be, be, um, behind energy. Uh, if you look at climate change um, research right now, we know that more than 70 percent of emissions are happening in cities. And so NASA is putting a lot of emphasis on understanding cities and understanding the dynamics of how cities are interacting uh, with the climate and our system as a whole.